What's up guys and welcome to the bathroom. Today we are going to be doing a super moisturizing wash and go routine because I would like to show you my hair before I put it into this slick ponytail. Cue dry hair. So because it is the winter season or the dry season for me, my hair is super, super in need of moisture. And so I'm really excited to be sharing the Soapbox products that I'm going to be using today. Soapbox is an amazing brand with a great mission and they also just have bomb products with great ingredients. And today we are going to be going in with their coconut line. So this is their shampoo and conditioner. And we are also going to be using their deep conditioner, which I love. I've used it many times. This is their coconut oil rejuvenating deep conditioner. I've also got some other styling goodies to share with you guys. So I'm going to take you through the whole wash day routine. And then I'll also be checking in with you a few days from now just to show you how the moisture works because I know, of course, Sometimes it's easy to see that your hair is very moisturized immediately after, but what's really important is after, after, through the week. So let's get started and I will be checking in with you very soon. So getting started, we'll be going in with the coconut oil shampoo. It's silicone and paraben free and free of the harsh sulfates SLS and SLES. It's infused with aloe, shea butter, and jojoba oil. So it's really moisturizing and works up a really great lather. My hair is surprisingly really easy to detangle with the shampoo and with the rich lather I really only need to give it one go. The coconut oil conditioner has a thick and creamy consistency and a little goes a long way with this because it is very moisturizing. I really love that Soapbox's shampoo and conditioners are super affordable. They're $7.99 and with each Soapbox product purchase they donate a bar of soap to someone in need. Now the deep conditioner is super rich and buttery. So I'll explain in a little bit more detail why with this product it's best to go in light. Um, I was actually a little heavy handed here, but a little goes a long way with this and it's gonna last you. When I deep condition, I like to go in with my hot head deep conditioning cap and let the conditioner sit in for about 30 minutes. But because this is a potent mask, I would actually say that 15 to 20 minutes would work better, just depending on your hair's usual response to coconut oil. After letting it set, I'm just going in with a coconut based leave in conditioner, a cream style, and a hair gel before I go in and apply the soapbox coconut oil mist. Applying oil last for me just helps me get the best shine. And my wash and go styling routine is pretty much the same every time. I make sure that my hair is pretty soaking wet and I'll apply the leave in, rake it through. Then I'll take the cream, rake that through and make sure that I'm really thorough and detangling so that there's no frizz. And then I'll make sure that my hair is still wet before applying the hair gel. After applying the product, I go in with my duckbill clips and I just clip my roots down to avoid shrinkage. Adding in the oil is gonna create a nice sheen and barrier just to make all of the product seal in and my hair is just nice and shiny once it dries. If your hair is not a huge coconut oil fan, Soapbox also has some other amazing oils in their collection. They have jojoba oil and avocado oil. I'll usually let it dry with the clips in to about 70% and then I'll take them out and either diffuse or let it air dry the rest of the way. I try to air dry, but sometimes I can't always make that happen. Okay, so we are back four days later from the wash and go. And of course, we are seeing a lot of volume. Um, there's definitely been a lot of frizz this week, but full disclosure, just because of the winter season and the dry air, my hair has just been very frizzy and has been experiencing a little more dryness than usual. I've been doing a lot of protein treatments, but for the sake of this video, I only used the products that I showed aside from the styling products. 
Now we'll jump into final thoughts and review. So for the shampoo and conditioner, I thought that this was an amazing duo. I really love that the shampoo just gives such a great lather without having to use sulfates. It doesn't use SLS or SLES, which are the sulfates that we stay away from, those are the ones that strip your hair of oil and dry it out, so this does not have any of those ingredients in it, which is great, but it still just does a very thorough job at clarifying the scalp and hair, and I always feel like my hair is very clean without being stripped when I use this shampoo. The conditioner is bomb, the consistency is thick, like two C's, thick. I just think that it does a great job at um, detangling my hair. Now the deep conditioner is much thicker and very, very concentrated. So I'll get into that next. But since I have colored my hair, I have found that my hair loves, loves protein now, and it has loved coconut oil as well. And I'm noting this because before color treating my hair, it was much more sensitive to proteins and coconut oil. It's really common for low porosity hair to experience resistance to coconut oil and high porosity to drink it up. However, everyone's hair is different and it's all about trial and error. Your hair will definitely let you know what it likes. It flourishes, it just makes it nice and juicy and gives it the moisture that it needs. With that said, typically when I'm deep conditioning my hair, I will only rinse out about 85 to 90% of the deep conditioner and use the rest of it as sort of a leave-in conditioner just to keep a little moisture in without weighing it down. Now, because this deep conditioner is so very concentrated, I mean, it is thick, thick, thick. And because I did not rinse out all of it, I do feel like this time it did dry my hair out a little bit more than it usually would. And I honestly just think that that's because I overdid it with the coconut oil. When using coconut oil, I would say maybe being a little bit on the lighter side with it, or if you are doing a, a deep conditioning treatment like that, just make sure to rinse it all out because I have used this deep conditioner before and I felt like it worked well, but I think that when I left it in, it just was too much for my hair to handle. With that said, if your hair does love coconut oil, I would definitely give this line a chance, but if your hair doesn't respond great to coconut oil, no worries because Soapbox has a collection of other products as well. They have an argan oil line, they have bamboo, and then in the oil categories, they also have avocado oil and they have jojoba oil, which is great. So you have some options there. As far as the deep conditioning treatment right now, it looks like they only have the coconut oil, but a lot of good products to check out. So make sure to go to their website and I've linked everything below in the description. And because they are having a lot of promotions going on right now, I have a promo code, but definitely make sure to check them out. Um, they're at Rite Aid, Amazon, and a lot of other really big retailers. So got you covered there. The routine that seemed to work the best for me would be the shampoo, the conditioner, going a little bit easy on the deep conditioner, meaning instead of you know your 30 minutes to an hour treatment, I would say like 20 to 30 with this because it's very, very potent. And then cream styler, a gel and then the oil that worked best for me was the lightweight coconut oil that seemed to do a really great job and just give it like a nice juicy look and here is a picture of my hair right after using this like the oil the oil did some things so yes coconut lovers this oil works really well or if your hair is you can check out their avocado oil or their jojoba oil. So that is my final review. If you guys are looking for some new products to check out, especially ones with a great mission, I just really appreciate that Soapbox is dedicated to giving back to the community. So again, with every purchase, they send out a bar of soap to someone in need, which is amazing. And every product has a hope barcode so you can track it. So again, thank you so much to Soapbox for sponsoring this video. Perfect timing for the season of giving and just for a year round mission. I love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any products or routines that have been working really well for you during this dry winter season, definitely let us know in the comments and make sure to check out all the info on Soapbox in my description. I can't believe that we're already about to enter 2020. I know everybody is saying that, but like, how did it happen so quickly?
but I hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday season. And if you don't see me before the new year, I hope you guys have a happy new year and you'll be seeing much more of me in 2020. I'm super excited for just everything that's to come in the new decade. So peace and blessings to you guys. And I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for watching.